contact paper apart, not all the way apart, but just enough so you can start sticking it on. Open the file cap. Be sure to pre-measure the width of your drawer before cutting Stick and pulling the apart top. the contact paper. Make sure that it's evenly positioned between the two sides. Smooth out the top. Smooth out the top. And then start smoothing it down. And if it's not positioned correctly, that's the good thing about the contact paper. You can pull it off and smooth it out. You can take your hand as a flat edge. Right, and after you press all the way down, just use your hand to smooth to get the bubbles out. And you press all the way down till you get to the handles and then you take the scissors once you get to the handle. And all I do is just cut a little hole and then cut going across until I reach the end of the handle in both directions. I'm going to stop once I get to the end of the handle and then I do a vertical cut so that it can fit over the handle and a vertical cut on the other side. Just about one inch, about a half an inch wide. And then I can smooth that down in the middle. And go ahead and pull the paper down just a little bit more. And if your cut is not right, the good thing about buying pattern paper is it will hide an imperfect cut. Right down, smooth that out, make sure it has no bubbles in it. And then for the little latch that cut that uh, opens the file cabinet, cut across. Same thing up top, cut across. Okay. And I cut this little piece off and just stick it right back here. Once I get done, I'll take it off and, and reposition it. Right there. Okay. Now that little piece that I took off earlier, I'm gonna put it right back on. Just smooth everything down. Pull this off. Stick that under there, smooth it down with your finger. Get all your bubbles out. The edges line up. Smooth it out. And again, if it gets bubbles in it, just pull it, pull and smooth. Pull and smooth. And if you get a bubble, you can always take it up towards the top as well. Okay, so you smooth it all the way out. And if you get spaces like this that are still a little bit uneven, just take your scissors, nip it, and then smooth it down. So now you have everything smoothed down. Take your scissors and clip the corners off on the bottom of each corner. And that's just so that it will go on a lot smoother. And I just trimmed this off because I over estimated or over measured and then just make it smooth.
all the way around. Smooth it out. All the way around. And if you need to clip this triangle as well, then take your top piece Find your holes. You can mark your holes ahead of time, but I did not. Clip it back in. And voila, you have it covered. So. Visit Pride Academic Solutions on Facebook for complete pictures.